the under 52 kilograms is the domain of the history maker, my Linda Kelmendi. In the lead up to the 2016 Olympic Games, the Kosovan trailblazer dominated the category, winning two world championships. Her and her country's first in Rio in 2013, and then again in Chelyabinsk in 2014, before fulfilling her destiny by claiming her nation's first ever Olympic title in Rio. But since that historic moment, the balance of power in the category has shifted. Japan have now unearthed one of the most exciting judoka on the planet, one half of the amazing Abe siblings, Abe Uta. 2018 saw her burst into life, taking her first world title at just 18 years of age. She then aimed to prove it was no fluke one year later in Tokyo and found herself in one of the most anticipated matchups in all of judo against the legend of Kelmendi. It was an epic encounter, but nothing could stop Abe. Having proved herself against one of the greats, she went on to defend her title in style against Russian dynamo Natalia Kuzyatina in the final. Abe looked to be in a league of her own, but her three-year undefeated streak was to come to an end just three months later in Osaka, as French tactician Amandine Bouchard found a chink in the armour where so many had failed, defeating the Japanese starlet in her own backyard to show that nobody is unbeatable. Abe was crestfallen. Perhaps now the door was open for a host of others to step through. Her teammate, Shishimi Ai. The judoka who contested the Olympic final against Kelmendi, Italy's Jofrida. World silver medalist Cusiatina. The determined Spaniard Perez Box. The explosive Brazilian Pimenta. Belgian Neiwaza specialist Van Snip. And Israel's rising star Primo. All could have something to say. But just three months after her defeat in Osaka, Abe used the Dusseldorf Grand Slam final to once again slam shut the door on her rivals avenging her defeat to Bouchard and re-establishing herself as the undisputed favourite. But could there still be a twist in the tale at under 52 kilograms?